Okay, I hate to admit it. I hate to wait. I hate to wait. I hate to wait. I'm impatient. And I hate to wait in the car for family members, I don't dare mention names, who promise they're going to be out in just a minute. I hate to wait in the mall for family members, I won't mention any names, who say it will just take a second to go in a certain store and check out a certain item. I hate waiting for everyone to show up so a meeting can start. Sometimes I hate waiting until the meeting is finally over. It's not that I don't like people or I don't like family members. On the contrary, it's just that I hate to wait. And I got to admit something. I'm not proud of it, but I hate waiting on God. So I really need to hear today's message from Psalm 40. Thanks for joining us as we as we're looking at passages to help us stand firm in unshakable faith. Listen to these words from Psalm 40, verses 1 through 3. I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined to me and heard my cry. He drew me up from the pit of destruction out of the miry bog and set my feet on a rock, making my steps secure. He put a new song in my mouth, song of praise for our God. Many will see and fear and put their trust in the Lord. So I like things to happen like yesterday, right? I like the pieces of a plan to fall in place according to a turbo timeline. I like the process. I know it's necessary, but I like the product. I'm most excited when it's time to, to take the enchiladas out of the oven. When a new ministry is launched, when it's time to pick the fruit, we can celebrate a win. Why didn't God understand that? Well, come to think of it, he understands it too well, right? He understands the danger of their propensity to be impatient. He understands that my mentality can cause train wrecks in ministry and in life. He knows that my ready, shoot, aim approach can frustrate people around me. He knows that I would appreciate the, the, the firm place to stand, if not for some time in the slimy pits. He knows I'd be happy singing the old song. So he lets me wear it out in the mud and the mire, and then he gives me a new song. So I'm talking to myself here. Take a deep breath. Pray a slow prayer. And God, please, please teach me to be a patient waiter. And if you could uh, teach me that without the slimy pits, that'd be, that'd be really good. But Father, you may want the slimy pits to be the classroom. And so... I submit to that. We submit to that. Father, we are impatient. We're waiting. Some 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 people are waiting on a on a health uh, diagnosis to come back, and it's a nerve wracking time. Some people are waiting for health to return, and that's a long process. Some people are waiting. They've been waiting for a spouse, and and they just want to know you have one out there. They're willing to wait. They just want to know there's one out there. Oh, Lord, I pray that we would surrender to you in our times of waiting in our impatience. Forgive us for that. And teach us, Father, to always wait on you. You do all things well in your perfect timing. Help us to wait on you, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, so that's our challenge today. Pack your patience, wait on God, and allow him to do his work in your life. As I challenge you with that, I challenge myself as well. Hey, thanks for joining us today on The Journey.